I also want to give the opportunity for Dr. Mohammed Hamouda from a Building Alliance to speak next. Um, just to say, we are experiencing a lot of connectivity issues. Uh, Suze from NRC is hoping to join from Rafa, but right now the electricity has been cut. So we'll turn to Suze when she can join. But for now, um, please, uh, Dr. Mohammed Hamouda, please take the floor. Sorry, Dr. Mohammed, you're on mute. Dr. Mohammed, sorry, we can't hear you. Okay. Okay. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, I am uh, Mohammed Hamouda. I am nutritionist. I am head of uh, the kitchen chef uh, from uh, Rebuilding Alliance in, uh, in Rafah uh, City. Uh, I was displaced uh, from uh, north of Gaza to, to Rafah city. Uh, uh, we have started uh, the working uh, in the kitchen in Rafah uh, at uh, 3 February. Uh, we was uh, providing a uh, hot meal for uh, more than 2,000 of uh, displaced uh, people. While, uh, the, while uh, displaced people from uh, north of Gaza Strip and from uh, Khan Yunis and Deir al Barah, all of uh, these uh, displaced people are in, uh, in shelter uh, surrounding uh, our kitchen. Uh, more than uh, five shelters uh, was uh, surrounding uh, in uh, our uh, kitchen. Uh, during the period of uh, providing the service uh, to the displaced people, uh, we uh, we were uh, noted uh, the sign of malnourished for uh, uh, for uh, the people, uh, especially for the child the children uh, below uh, ten year, uh, like uh, pallor face, uh, extreme thinner, uh, frustration, uh, and spread of uh, disease and uh, epidemics, uh, especially uh, skin disease and uh, hepatitis A. Uh, before uh, three days, we uh, we were uh, surprised before uh, the Israel army uh, asked us and uh, ordered us uh, to evacuate Rafah again. Uh, all these people was uh, in the shelter, uh, don't find uh, any trans transportation tools uh, to transport to other uh, safe site. And... Uh, uh, all of them don't uh, know where, where we where uh, he must uh, go because uh, already he was displaced from her houses and uh, they don't have any uh, thing uh, to displace uh, to other uh, site uh, uh, the situation um, was very 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 uh, difficult and uh, all uh, all people don't have uh, to do anything we prefer, we prefer uh, to, to do something for him uh, and we cooked for him uh, a quick uh, food at, uh, the, the, at the first time, at the first day. But in the second day, uh, the bombing was very closed to our kitchen uh, and uh, the people uh, go, uh, go from her uh, shelter to other uh, site and uh, we don't have uh, to do anything for them and uh, i am uh, i displaced to 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 to, to other uh, site in khan yunis city this site we don't have uh, electricity uh, clean water we don't have clean food for uh, for my children and uh, my team uh, some of them don't have uh, uh, don't know what where we where he will uh, go and other uh, go to, 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 to the shelter in Khan Yunis or El Mawasi. Uh, but uh, the, the, the situation in a in, in new uh, shelter is more difficult than because uh, the people are very clouded and uh, there is uh, little aids, uh, little aid for, for them. Um, I see we also have your colleague, Rafiq El Mahnoun. Uh, if you'd like to add anything very quickly, and then we'll we'll move on to our, our next panelist, Helena Ranchel from the West Bank. Rafiq, Hello. you're to you. Hi. Yeah, I'm here. Hi. Hello, everyone. I'm, uh, I'm Rafiq El Mahnoun, Program Manager for uh, Rebuilding Alliance. 
and we are supporting uh, various kitchen points in uh, in Rafah and middle area for the time being, plus north of Gaza and Gaza City during the war in partnership with World Food Program. The current situation in uh, in Rafah has uh, put uh, like a much burden on us trying to move our staff, our partners, and our kitchen points to the safer areas in the uh, in the uh, western side of Rafah, and we did uh, start preparing uh, an emergency plan since two weeks, and also we have uh, prepared an evacuation center for our staff and cooking points chiefs. And we already moved them to the Amawasi area in the western side of, uh, of Rafah. Plus we are trying, uh, and we already started today having another camp, another shelter in Dar al-Balah in the middle area to bring any people who are uh, uh, likely to move to Dar al-Balah. Uh, the, the problem that our operations has been affected, uh, some cooking points couldn't cook uh, during the last two days. Uh, and this is raised our concern as Rebuilding Alliance because uh, lots of displaced people already depend on us in getting the hot meals. While now much more displacement is occurring either in Rafah and in Dar al-Balah. Uh, every day I'm going to Rafah, the old road, coastal road from Dar al-Balah to Rafah, it's full of people on both sides, plus each, each piece of land, it's full of tents now. And this makes us uh, trying to shift our, um, our uh, operation to be uh, like more emergencies than before to accommodate the increase or the crazy increase of number of displaced in the middle area and in the western side of Rafah. For that reason, uh, we gave orders to our uh, CBOs in the middle area to be ready, open more uh, uh, cooking points to cook, especially for the people who are in the streets, for the people who are just putting tents anywhere. It is like random places, not or recognized uh, shelters. Our next question um, is going to be directed at colleagues from Rebuilding Alliance. Um, this is a question from Charlotte uh, de Rouen from RFI. How do you reorganize yourself to provide food to so many displaced people? Uh, can you still provide meals? And where is your food coming from um, to help support right now with the with the new evacuation orders? Uh, maybe first I will turn to Dr. Mohammed and, or sorry, Rafiq, uh, over to you and then Dr. Mohammed. Okay, hi. Uh, we have uh, received uh, usually our monthly allocation from World Food Program. And we usually, uh, as a response to emergency, we have our own rebuilding alliance warehouses in Rafah and in Dar al Balah. And that question was uh, raised by World Food Program two days ago for us, that how, how long can we stay without any new deliveries from their side? And our, uh, our answer was for them that from Rafah, we can um, uh, like manage ourselves for three weeks. And for Dar al-Balah, we can manage in normally like one month but with the in dramatic increase of displaced coming to Dar al Balah and middle area, it can be uh, only two weeks to three weeks. Uh, we are trying to keep also the, um, our uh, cooking points uh, have its sufficient stock for two weeks at least. So yesterday we tried to empty our warehouses in Rafah because it is in the downtown. So we pushed it to all uh, commodities, we pushed it near, towards Mawasi and to Khanunis Mawasi area in order to be in a safer place for uh, for the cooking points. And they also in the shelter we we did in uh, in, Ra in Rafa Mawasi Rafa, we also have a stock to be enough for that area, like for one week. Uh, in addition to that, uh, we are trying to to increase uh, our local procurement if it can help uh, with the missing with the missing thing. 
uh, the closure of uh, the uh, crossing points, uh, I think, has affected our operation. We noticed that clearly that we are trying uh, to give our attention to the demand, the high demand of, for the uh, hot meals, plus the control or the lack of uh, supply chain. So we are very careful in more deliveries and we need to cook more for people. On the other side, uh, today we have noticed that uh, because of the lack of the fuel, the transport is extremely like a crazy increase in the transportation cost because we asked the trucks to move our commodities from one place to another. The price they asked, it is like a triple the normal days. So all these things could affect our operations. Uh, plus the lack of um, the uh, fresh food, like the fresh vegetables, because it, it, the, it is very crazy prices here due to the spoilage of uh, the, uh, the farming season. Uh, tomato is like going crazy, uh, potatoes, and these things we need it more and more in, in our hot meals because, uh, uh, sorry for getting longer, <laughs> but uh, we noticed that many people have hepatitis also uh, and they need uh, certain sweets uh, to be included in their food. So we try to afford it. While it is not uh, delivered to us from World Food Program, we try as our uh, rebuilding alliance to afford it in order to keep our uh, our uh, beneficiaries safe. Thank you so much, Helena. Dr. Hamouda, did you want to add to that as well? Okay, uh, thank you. Uh, I would like to confirm uh, the lack of the variation uh, uh, of the of the hot meal that we uh, already was provided it uh, for uh, the, the displaced people uh, until before uh, Karma Abu Salim uh, crossing is closed uh, before uh, two days. Uh, we face uh, lack of uh, animals protein uh, like red meat or uh, chicken meat, uh, lack of uh, vegetables. Uh, uh, and lack of uh, sweets, uh, such as uh, Mr. Uh, Saz Rafiq uh, speak. Uh, and uh, this is uh, will uh, uh, will uh, will lead to decrease the immunity system for uh, the children and for uh, the pregnant women and for uh, the injured people uh, and for uh, aged person or uh, aged. Uh, uh, people who face uh, chronic disease like uh, hypertension or uh, diabetes, uh, all of, uh, of this will lead to, to decrease the immunity system and uh, increase the, the infectious disease and uh, uh, epidemic disease and uh, uh, lead to, to, to many complications. Wow, thank you so much, Helena. Um, Rafiq, please. Uh, we have here rumors that it will be uh, moved to Ashdod. So I, we don't know whether it will continue in Gaza or not, whether it was made for sustainable sustainable solution to get the aid into Gaza, or it was just like a joke, as uh, my colleague said, and it will be transferred to Ashdod. This is what the rumors here in Gaza we are hearing since two days. Thank you. Thank you so much, Helena. Uh, Rafiq, did you have another comment? I think uh, as an emergency plan, uh, we <clears throat> we are trying to uh, to make uh, cooking powder to absorb uh, much more caseload. We know that it is not easy, but uh, we we uh, try to organize it in a way that we can provide in partnership with other uh, uh, service providers, uh, especially the World Central Kitchen, the other NGOs. We are trying to make like a certain formula where we can all share and give for more caseload. We can contribute with one uh, with one or two items. Uh, the other can contribute with one in order to avoid any shortfall that comes due to the uh, uh, crazy increase of the caseload. Um, Rafiq, would you do you have your hand raised? 
my, my hand raised was from before. Okay, but, no problem. Uh, there is a question about the uh, field hospitals. Yes. And I also mentioned that I can add something because we have two field uh, hospitals. We have connection with them, which is UK Med uh, near Fish of Rush on the uh, coastal road and the IMC because we try to uh, to provide the meals mm -hmm. for the patients or contribute with some food commodities. But uh, through our ways to Rafah back and forth, there is <clears throat> the UK Med, there is the IMC uh, field hospital, there is an ICRC hospital, there is also a Ribat hospital, Moroccan one, and also there is a Rafah field hospital, which is under construction now, uh, plus the MSF one, which is uh, in the back of the Fish Fresh in the entrance of Rafah Mawasi. Thank you 